Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're wondering who is she, my name is Emma Jean. Welcome back. Did you miss me? I have a new radiology video for you. Go ahead and stay tuned. Guys, I feel so productive today. You wanna know what I did? No? Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you anyways. I taught a 5.30 a.m. class this morning. Then I folded some laundry. I still need to fold some more, but I mean, I, did, I folded some laundry, which is pretty good because then I had work from eight to 12. Just finished and I made food in between. I did my makeup. What else did I do? I thought I did a lot more than I and portraying that I did. I'm filming a video right now. I came up with a couple more ideas to film for. I think that's a pretty good day, don't you think? I think so. All right, so what is the question for today? This video is going to be about if we have any homework during clinic. Some people would probably answer yes to this and some people would probably answer no. I'm sorry if the blind keeps opening and stuff. Loki's on the floor and he likes to use his body to open it a little bit so he can see in the outdoors even though he knows that it messes up with my lighting in here but it's okay because i love him and you guys love him too so just let him be okay this is something i'm wondering i am wondering too for other schools if you guys have homework for clinic i know that really it's not supposed to be homework because you're just doing clinic and there's nothing to really study for there's no exam there's no quizzes but for us i feel like the homework that we have again i don't really call it homework because I just don't feel like it is but we do a couple things the first thing that we do are evaluations and the second thing that we do is talk about our goals we do talk about our goals through the website that we use where all of our homework is so maybe that could be considered our homework and what it is basically is that for each quarter at the end of that quarter we put in our goals and what my clinical coordinator really likes to do which i really like is she puts the same questions each time and i like that because when you do that, you're then able to kind of section off how you want to answer that. You get to refer back and that's exactly what she wants us to do. When she asks these questions, she wants us to refer back to the quarter before that. Questions are similar in a way that she words it such as what were your goals from the last quarter and what did you do to overcome those goals and after that once you answer that portion you then start to explain what your new goals are going to be for that quarter and i really enjoy this because i feel that i am one to kind of forget my goals sometimes i remember them sometimes i it just flies over my head because you're just so into doing your clinic right you want to get your comps in and all of that even though we're in quarters which is so much more faster than semesters I feel like we still tend to be really busy with clinic and forget about our goals and so we refer back to it then we're like oh yeah that was a goal that I put I talked about and that I finally reached we also get to put in things such as what we want to work on and things that we talk to our CI about about improvement what are some things that you would like to work on that's why I feel like that goal portion is really nice because it's more in-depth and it's more with your clinical coordinator. But the other thing for evaluations is that it's more with your clinical instructor or your CI or CP, whichever you'd like to call it. The evaluation part is a paperwork that your CI fills out. I'm trying to find where I put mine. Okay, so it looks like this. It's a rubric-like layout. And at the top, you know, you put your name, you put the site that you're at, the date, and we do three of these in one quarter. We have what CP one, two, and three, and then we also have a self one that we do at the end of the quarter. And if you see up here, it says like circle things that you want to work on. And the, there's five categories that we have here. The first one is time and attendance. You show up, follow instructions for calling in, communicates in advance of shift, follow schedule, arrives on time, prepare for the shift, etc. Then the second one is participation, shows initiative, works well with others, take notes, ask questions, shows desire to learn, works without being told, exam skills, demonstrates progressive growth and clinical skill, performs procedures correctly, able to perform previously earned earned previously learned exams uses markers correctly checks for two patient ids professionalism demonstrates awareness of others effectively resolves conflict communicates professionally to all patients and members of the team responds appropriately to feedback then patient care shows compassion advocates for the patient communicates appropriately to all kinds of the patients is responsive to patients respects diversity of all types of patients prepares for exams in advance for patients i'm just kidding it doesn't say for patients for each one you get the gist so those are all the categories that at least my school would like for us to 
have a clinical performance rubric for and it's like you have below average expected excellence and ours is out of 10 i think a couple of them are out of 20 or 30 and you add it down at it at the bottom we also have a more written out in depth kind of area where one of them is areas of success so if we're reading this one this one is from april of 2022 and so this is old reading this is just so weird to me because i feel like i have reached my goal of this already and this is not even the most recent one so reading this just makes me really happy areas of success being able to be more and more independent with exams and critical thinking and i said that because with portables you have to be critical thinking you have to be thinking outside of the box how am i going to have this plate up oh maybe you put like a tissue box underneath or you put a towel or or linen underneath it's just things like that and i had a really hard time and difficulties with doing that and the fact that i'm reading this now is absolutely weird to me areas of improvement i put try to get more comms in pediatrics section again a weird one too i feel like i've been really good with taking x-rays with kids especially because you know how they are they're very um like you don't know what to expect and they might be moving a lot and they're a lot of pain they can't really say how they feel and then the parents are the ones that are going to be helping us too now i'm like oh if there's a kid bring it on let me do it if it's a baby bring it on then another thing that is on the bottom is goals for next assessment period so this kind of ties into the goals portion that we have to do that and turn it in on the computer for our um, class of clinic i said to continue to work um slash be more confident with spine work and skull which again is so weird because now if a patient comes in and it's a skull or spine i'm like give it here i'm gonna do it everyone make way make way for me i'm here i'm here to take your x-ray all right and then at the bottom even more it's like more circle things like if you discuss the repeat log um discuss prompt comp progress and then provide a time for a student to ask questions and, and then we both sign it at the bottom and that's it and this is something that we do again three times in a quarter and then we do also a self one at the end which i think it's good and sometimes i'm like oh, i don't know i always go lower than what my ci puts for me and it's not like i think less of myself but i always just think because i'm a student there's room for improvement but yeah other than that i don't think we have any other homework or assignments to do during our clinic if you're going through clinic right now let me know if you guys do anything similar to this if you do a goals type of assignment where you type it out and turn it into your clinical coordinator and you just do that as a way to check in with yourself and then possibly get like a few points out of that or if you guys do also like a rubric like this one where it's all laid out a ci has to fill it out so they can also be the ones to track your progress which i think both of them are such great ideas because not only are you in contact with the ci with this one you're also in contact with the clinical instructor or clinical coordinator and i think that's the reasoning behind of why my program and why my teachers have decided to do those two things during clinic so it's not all just clinic mostly it is definitely for sure it's not like i ever need to stop like if it's busy i can study it's more just i can get this done when it's slow time and i don't have to rush while doing that uh, let me know um if you found that interesting or if you do something else for your clinic in a sense for homework assignments or something to stay in contact with your ci and or your clinical teacher instructor i hope you like that video don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it if you have any questions let me know I am always willing to answer all of your questions. I am loving all the questions you guys are asking me and I will see you in my next video.